this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to make a nice high back cast. Why do you need a good high back cast? Well, it's because the minute the line leaves the rod tip, it wants to fall to the ground. It wants to catch a bush, a tree, the water, the boat partner, whatever. And we have to make a nice high back cast to give ourselves time for it to level out to make the forward cast. Let's learn it right now. Rod tip over the forward cast comb. A nice smooth lift up to the point where we want to make the cast approximately there. And now we're going to tilt the crossbar so it points up behind us. There we go. And then back down. It's as simple as that. That's how you make a nice high back cast. But let's have a look at it in more detail, shall we? No slack, rod tip, forward cast cone. Lift to approximately weight high waist high, nice and smooth lift. Let that line peel away from you, unpeel that sticker, and then tilt the crossbar up and back down again. Stop and drop. High back cast, perfect. Why do we need a high back cast? Let's have a look at it. The line comes off the rod tip and starts to fall behind us. And it takes a certain amount of time to do that, okay? We need to beat that clock to make the forward cast. If we wait too long, the line has touched the ground behind us and we, we can't have that. If we go too quickly, the line piles into the water ahead of us. So we actually need the crossbar to fire up. We need the line to shoot off the tip of that crossbar, but then to level out so that the crossbar is almost flat on the forward cast again. So it creates this shape. The line goes up, levels out, and then goes straight. We've bought time on the back cast with our high back cast. Here we go. 